And speaking of God's work, I did want to show you guys. Remember this guy, Milo Yiannopoulos, who used to be gay. Uh, and then he would say, because I'm gay and a Trump guy, they can't use all of the same stuff against me. He's no longer gay, he says. He says he is no longer gay. And he's also now even more Catholic than he used to be. He appeared on what appears to be the Catholic version of the Home Shopping Network promoting statuettes of the Virgin Mary. It is completely surreal what is going on. OK, look, this is Milo Yiannopoulos selling Catholic statuettes. Church militant shop. My name is Milo Yiannopoulos and I'm here with my co-host, Deborah Vaughan. How are you doing today, Deborah? I'm doing OK. How are you? I'm well. I'm Good. happy because this is the first of our shows and we're beginning today with, well, probably the most important woman in history, wouldn't you say? I think so. She's certainly the most beloved and we've got this today. is not satire. It's beyond parody. It is, but it's not satire. A uh, three items all in celebration reverence, of course, of the Blessed Mother, right. uh, the Virgin Mary. We're going to start with um, this wonderful statue, which we both own. In we fact. do, but in different uh, medium, oh, different colors. That's right. They each have one of these statues, but in different colors. That's right. You've got the silver finish. Yes. And I've got this bronze finish. Tell us a little bit about the material this is made from, because it's a little bit special, isn't it? It looks like a. It, it's going to weigh a ton and cost $100 right. to ship. And I want to make sure I have it right. So it's it's a um, cold cast, and it's hand-painted bronze color, or you can get it in the pewter. I love pewter. By the way, what is pewter? Is pewter just kind of like a metallic looking color? Let's see. Pewter is a malleable metal alloy. Consisting of tin, antimony, copper, bismuth. And sometimes silver. OK, pewter. Sometimes uh, one or the other might be on back order, but they come in. Um, it's very popular. Um, Look at Milo pretending to be interested in this. It. I have a shrine at home and I have mine. She has a shrine. In, in my shrine and it looks very, very nice. Um, and it, it, you know, and it's called the adoring virgin and I adore her. I actually <laughs> have a rosary hanging from her. I do the same thing. Do you I do the same thing? Yeah. One of the nice things about this particular statue is I get paid for promoting it is the shroud. Mm -hmm. And on your silver version, um, something shows up on the back a little bit more than on this one. This is more of a sort of, uh, like a, a, a an aged metal finish on the silver one, you get a little bit more of the detail popping out, I think. But I'm just going to turn this. Is this sad or funny, guys? Like, is it sad that this is what Milo has been reduced to, or is it funny, or is it both? Contrast of color. Yeah. Right. I'm going to turn this around, and maybe you could explain to us a little bit about the shroud. Well, it's another way to grift. Basically, the shroud helps us grift. So the shroud, it, it's got the um, the stars on it, um, and it just uh, reflects what this is all about. And um, it also has so much depth to it. And any kind of lighting that goes around it, especially candles, just bring the depth depth of this statue out, and it like <laughs> comes alive. It's it's just. I think magnificent. The Anybody know if this thing's made in China? In all seriousness, is it where is it made? The way it's done, the folds, mm -hmm. um, just the creases and everything's the detail. All right, so let's skip ahead to another random time where they are offering some kind of a medal. You can buy a medal. Um, it's it's quite beautiful. It's got um, two different uh, finishes of the. Uh, are we calling this? Pewter? I'm not quite sure. It's what it's, it. it's it's difficult. It's, it's, it's solid. A it's solid a solid sterling. sterling. Okay. Here they're trying to figure out what it is they're selling. It's solid sterling, but it's got. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, but there's shiny and there's matte, and and putting the two together just makes this um, the depth and the. Um, I'm trying to think of the right word here. It's, dim it's, it's the is dimension. It is it dimension? It's dimensional. So, um, and it is actually raised. I don't know if you guys can see that on the camera. That seems like a great toy, uh, collectible or something. Then the third item, and we're going to move on from this in a second. D don't worry, guys. There's no verdict. We're monitoring the verdict. You're missing nothing over there. Um, that now they move on to selling a Bible. It's um, not the only one that we have devotion for a year to um, something in the Catholic Church. 
And it's the subtitle is Daily Meditations on the Mother of God. And what that means is it's not just scripture, but it's also prayers and writings, poems, all kinds of... There's even poems in there, guys. Thoughts and literature, really, mm -hmm. um, from a variety of different thinkers, including many saints, on the subject of Mary. Ooh. So it's not, you know, some people love reading their Bible. They do the Bible in a year thing. Some people love reading scripture. Other people, you know, are a little bit more apprehensive about diving into bits of the Bible blind because they think, oh, well, you know. Have you guys ever met someone who the idea of just diving in blind to the Bible it makes them a little bit apprehensive. I've met people like that. Yeah, I just I'm just not sure what I'm going to get out of it because some of it's you know there's a lot of historical names. Also, this is um, selected yeah. to be endlessly fascinating. You know, every day it's a completely different tone and style and author. There's lots from Saint Alphonsus Liguori, but there's also you know uh, Louis de Montfort, Pope Benedict XVI, all kinds of different meditations and thoughts on Mary. Mm -hmm. So I thought I'd read one from a fellow Brit. Uh, so he reads some stuff. It's pretty cringy. If her love be weak or in pain or near to die, still more intensely does she live in his life and know nothing but him. It, it's just it's it's insane that this is what's going on. Because we put we put gold on everything. We do. <laughs> but it, it is it is a beautiful thing. Um, pop it back up there so you can see it. And that's 4495, uh, 400 pages, and um, you can see the size of that. Well, this has been, this has been lovely. I think we're going it's to do been more. It's been nice. I think we're going to do more of these. I hope so. It's a lot of fun. If you could recommend just one of these products uh, for people at home, who yes. maybe. If you could choose between the Bible that is gold plated, the statuette of the Virgin Mary, or a medal that looks like one of the smashed pennies that they have at literally every tourist attraction in the world. Which which of the three would you choose? Which it's so tough. We would like to eke out their spending a little bit uh, over over time, or who are trying to choose for themselves. Imagine being financially strapped and being like, I want all three of these things. I can't afford all of them, so I'm going to have to sort of do installments where I get one item at a time. Is there one thing that you would say would bring you closer to Mary, something that you would find especially precious? I'd have to go with the one I have, which is which is the adoring Mary statue. Yeah, so too. Um, she just uh, it almost looks like it's real clothing. I don't know how to describe <laughs> it to you. I, I hope the cameras. All right. All right. We're done. I, I'm, it's it's too much. It's but it's amazing. It really is amazing. Um, all right. So we're getting away from that. Oh, man, that is really something else that is that it's just completely bonkers.